Hi, and welcome to Morning Coffee. I want to do uh, two things really today. One is to tell you about our worship services between now and Easter morning. And the second thing is to tell you why they matter. That's a conversation most pastors have every year. And it's not easy. In fact, it's kind of frustrating. But first, to let you know what's going on. Uh, today is Monday, Thursday. Today is the day we will gather tonight at 7 o'clock in our multi-purpose room, and we'll celebrate and remember that Jesus Christ sat with his disciples at the Passover meal, an old covenant meal, and transformed that into a new covenant meal, the Holy Communion, the Eucharist, the Lord's Supper. This was also the night that he washed the disciples' feet, including Judas' feet. He uh, went to the Garden of Gethsemane and prayed to God, and he was arrested. That's tonight at 7 o'clock. It's going to be a wonderful service. It always is. It's beautiful. Tomorrow night, it's going to be Good Friday service, 7 o'clock here in the sanctuary. And we will remember and celebrate the crucifixion and death of Jesus, painful as that is. On Holy Saturday, we're going to have an Easter vigil. It's the first glimpse that we have of Easter morning. We'll gather at 8 o'clock on the lawn and then quickly come inside and bring the new fire into the church, a celebration, the first of what I hope is many celebrations of the resurrection. And then, of course, Easter morning on Sunday, we'll have sunrise service at 7 o'clock and a, a, a breakfast together at 8 o'clock and then our normal uh, services of celebrating the resurrection. You're welcome to come, and I hope if you are not in a place where you can join us in worship these nights that you will find a place. But now that second part, why every year pastors have to say, please come, please come, it's because we are spoiled in the modern church. We want all the celebration and none of the work. People love Palm Sunday. We get to celebrate that Christ has come for us. And people love Easter. Yay, he is risen. But we have a very small percentage of people who attend these services of Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday. You know, every relationship, if it's going to be growing, if it's going to have depth, if it's going to be real, you have to work at it. And the same is true of your relationship with God. It's not just about what God is doing for you that Jesus comes, that he rose for us. It's also how we serve God. That's the part we seem to miss so often in the modern church. We think worship services are for us. In fact, we rate them. How did you like worship? Oh, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't like that, <laughs> that hymn. I didn't like that song. The sermon wasn't very good today. And we forget that it's really not about us. We come to worship God. That's why it's called a service of worship. And so I would like you to consider that tonight, Monday, Thursday, and tomorrow night, Good Friday, and the Easter Vigil are services that you offer to God. You open your heart so that you can hear this amazing story of what God is willing to do to endure, to show you love, to show us love. And yes, it's going to cost you something. Those are difficult services at times. But we do that for people we love. We endure. We suffer a little bit to show them how much we do love them. So I invite you to come and join us as we serve and worship God together. I hope you have a great Monday, Thursday, and a great rest of your Holy Week.